Technically obese, I'm wobbly, jiggly, and round. In a word, quite frankly, I'm fat. The word fat can sometimes cause a bit of shock. Some people are offended, but I'm not. I've owned it and reclaimed it, and I'm not. against the way that people look. Some people wanna clutch their pearls and worry about us. <gasps> they should be dieting. Dear God, what about their health? But there's no correlation between health and my appearance. So you can keep your damned opinions to yourself. I won't apologize for taking a tiger in the bedroom and that's why my fat body rocks so let me lay some knowledge on you guys i wasn't kidding about the diet industry worldwide being worth an estimated 650 billion dollars in 2015 that's milliarder for you germans yeah so do you have a reason to hate yourself how about 650 billion reasons they want you to hate yourself the diet industry admits that a very low percentage of people can actually lose weight permanently. We're talking maybe 5%, but more likely about 1%. That's right, 1%. And that's not because we're lazy slobs with no willpower. I'll ask any fat person. My story is pretty typical. I started dieting when I was 10 years old. I dieted for more than 20 years of my life. I even had surgery. That's right. I paid someone to cut me open, give me some really shitty side effects, risking permanent malnutrition and death for maybe a 5% chance at permanent weight loss. You know why we can't lose weight? It's science, bitches. Neuroscience, to be exact. It's called a set point, and it means that whatever weight your body gets used to, even if it's 300 pounds, if your weight drops below that, you burn fewer calories, produce more hunger-inducing hormones, and your brain finds eating more pleasurable. Oh, and if you're part of that magical 1% that lost weight permanently, you're talking about fighting those hunger hormones for the rest of your life. Fuck that shit. I will take chocolate. Thank Woo! you. Woo! <laughs> and all of this is for what? Science can't even say if the health problems associated with being fat are actually from being fat or from the yo-yo dieting that all fat people feel compelled to do. Oh, and let me say this. There are no studies that show that losing weight significantly improves long-term health outcomes. Yes, I have sources. See me after the show. And for a little extra fun, studies do show that if you diet to lose weight, even if you're not fat right now, you're three times more likely to end up fatter than you started. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so the good news is, to be healthy, it doesn't really matter what you weigh. What matters is whether you exercise, eat right, and don't smoke. So what's the real problem here, right? The real problem is that we're taught from the cradle that fat is disgusting. Well, guess what? That's 
Bullshit. <laughs> We're running out of people left to hate. They're letting all the refugees in. If I can't hate you cause you're queer or female, Jewish or disabled, I can at least hate you because you're not thin. So if you want to advise someone to lose some weight, even if helping is your only desire, consider if your time might not be better spent by quietly setting yourself on fire. I won't apologize for taking up space in the world. I'm living large and I'm not gonna stop. My body sings and dances and it's a tiger in the bedroom and this is why my body 